Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you demo of another JSPN servlet project. This is mobile shop uh, application, uh, web application. It's following the MBC architecture for the front end. It's using uh, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap and JSP application uh, deployed over the Tomcat server. It's using Maven to manage the dependencies following the MBC architecture and controller is there to manage the servlets or server side request and response. Uh, database is stored into the MySQL, so I'm going to open my database. So, so to manage the backend things or the database transactions, we are using MySQL. So, under the MySQL, we have a MySQL workbench here, and here you can see the database for the mobile shop. Under the mobile shop database, we have these many tables. If I want to view the data of this table, I can view the uh, user table. Uh, by just right click on the table select the first option and the data will be displayed to you and uh, Here we have a two roles. The first one is a customer or second one is a shop owner or an admin So let's run the application and check what the application is working and how it's doing. So um, If you want the source code if you get the source code from code one after configuration by the remote team You will get the source code in this condition after that you need to follow me How can you run the application and? perform the operation so right click on the root folder of the application go to run as run on the server select as a server tomcat 8.5 click on the finish restart the server in case it's already running and the application will launch automatically over your chrome browser and i'm going to close quick close other browser so this is a welcome page and this data is coming from the database all the mobile details so here we have a category option so we have a multiple category so when I select the opposed mobile so it will display two records to me if I select the MI it will display other records so this is the three records three uh, products are available into the database that's why it's showing this many data and if I go to the product section I can check and view all the sections over, over there and if I want to search a product by name I can click here I select that uh, like I can enter the product name here click on the search option it will filter the data for me another option we have a contact form so if i want to fill up this form the data will be stored into the database and it will display into the contact table of the database here it is okay next thing uh, register and sign up if i am a new user i can register there to buy the product and if i am an existing user i can directly log in from here even if i go there and add any product into the cart so it will ask me to log in so let's log in as an admin then we'll check the performing uh, performance for the users how the user role is working over there so first i'm going to take a user id for the admin so how can you differentiate the user uh, id and password for the admin and other user so check that this user table under this user table we have a role id one for the admin and other role id two will be for the other customer so i'm going to just enter the username for admin password for the admin i just hit the sign in button here i have an option to add another admin so if i'm I, as an admin i want to add another admin i can just fill up this form click on the save button the data will be stored into the database another option we have a product category so here uh, i can add a new product category okay so just click on the add new category enter the data like uh, oppose b was done oppose done b was not done so i'm going to just add a I'm gonna add iPhone as a category name or um, I'm going to select the image so let's select this image okay uh, description this is Apple click on the save the category will be displayed under the category section so you can see the new category here as an iPhone also I can edit and delete this category just I need to hit uh, this delete button and it perform the edit operation Another section we have a product section so I can add a product from any for any category so when I click on the add product I will check get the option here the category type so I just select the phone iPhone and I enter the name uh, iPhone 13 let's suppose new iPhone Uh, okay, just enter any name. This is a dummy context and the price is suppose I'm going to enter this price 
and I'm going to new and select the image. So I'm going to select, select this image this time. Uh, this image, okay. Click on the description, click on the save. When I check the product detail, the data will be displayed me here. The image will take some time to load. If I refresh, it will be display here. Okay, it's displaying here now. And <clears throat> again, we have a product section and the cell history. So whatever the user is going to book from the database, uh, from the front end, uh, the admin can check or shopkeeper can check, can check the all the cell history. Again, contact us and log out. Now let's log in as a user and check what the user can do. So I'm going to completely going to register as a new user. So I just enter some dummy data here and this should be a proper mail ID. So at the rate gmail.com password is already filled up. Email ID is already filled up the mobile number and digit valid number. And it's using the validation. That's why we need to enter the valid data. I just click on the sign up and when I replace the user table here, I can see the newly added record here so this is my username this is my password so i just go here i logged in as a new user i just enter username and the password from here okay, um, click on the sign in button we have multiple options here now we have iphone also so i click on the add card so it will redirect me over the card section. You can see the notification one is now. If I move the quantity to as a two and update it, it will display like this. The price is automatically updated. If I want to delete something from the card, I can press this. If I want to view it in detail, I can do that. Again, let's move me, let's uh, go to the card again. Checkout option, click on the checkout. Uh, these are the details that is automatically fetching from the database. Click on the submit. I need to, this is a, dummy payment gateway so just need to pull up this detail and click on the confirm payment the payment is successfully this is the bill detail and now if i view my history i can check the detail so uh, this user only can check the history of the orders that is done by this account only and admin can check the history side history for all the users. now if i view again to the cart the cart is uh, like uh, empty so we have already booked the product my profile section logout. So that's it about the mobile shopping project in JSP and Servlet. In case you need a source code, just connect us with a uh, mail or WhatsApp and don't worry about the configuration, the side of the things. We have a complete remote support to run this application at your machine. Please contact and inquire.